So the crap, welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Monday, September 3, and I'm your host JP Mestanza with the news you need to know. A Saudi Arabian tourist is still recovering in a hospital following ATV accident yesterday, which saw him sustain a number of injuries, including almost severing his tongue. The accident took place in the hills behind Soiklum Yang in Chalong yesterday afternoon as rescue workers arrived on the scene at about 4 p.m. administering first aid for blood coming from his nose and eyes before taking him to the still under construction Chalong Hospital. The 24-year-old tourist was later transferred to Bangkok Hospital Phuket with doctors saying that the damage to his tongue was serious as it was almost completely severed in the ATV accident. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. By royal decree, the new work permit rules were changed in late March and now the chief of the Phuket Provincial Employment Office, Katia Pandet, is confirming to the Phuket News of the new provisions for foreigners working in Thailand. Foreigners with work permits can now legally work in any field anywhere in Thailand for any employer as long as the work being done is not on the list of 28 occupations prohibited to foreigners. That list of forbidden jobs for foreigners was 39, but it was cut down to 28 jobs in June of this year, and it makes it illegal for anyone but Thai nationals to work in occupations such as tour guides, secretaries, and more. Foreigners with a work permit don't even have to be at the exact location listed in the permit, and there is no longer a legal requirement for foreigners to inform the employment office of any changes. Although, Pandit did say that foreigners should still register any changes to their work situation with the employment office to avoid any misunderstandings. So much more to the story, so visit PuketNews.com for the full story. A baby elephant that was used as a tourist cash bait on the road up to the Big Buddha viewpoint, well, it's now being moved to a corral and is no longer on the side of the road. The three-year-old female baby elephant was shackled in front of the butterfly and orchid garden on the road up to Big Buddha, which caused an outpouring of online criticism over the condition of the elephant as it was being used as a tourist attraction. In response, the Phuket Livestock Office dispatched officers to ensure that the elephant was in good health and not suffering maltreatment, although it was chained up to a pole. But now it's being kept away from the road and tourists, and a shaded area is now being built to keep it there. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Sit tight, Phuket Show will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. It's only been open for three days, but a laundromat in Bangkok has exploded, injuring eight people just this morning. Reports say a leak from a cooking gas cylinder was to blame for the 2.20 a.m. explosion of the Oteri wash and dry business in Bangkok Soi in Tamara 36 this morning, with the blast severely damaging not just the shop, but five shop houses in its vicinity, blowing away the concrete walls and front windows. Eight people were sent to the hospital, three men and five women, and an investigation is now underway. Thai police are now threatening to ban a teenage girl from ever coming back to Thailand if she's unable to respond and provide support for her claims that she was raped on Koh Tao back on June 25. The incident was reported in the Sun newspaper in the UK on August 23 and recounts the 19-year-old woman's story of how she was allegedly drugged, stripped, robbed and raped Uncle Tao back on June 25 and her subsequent claims that police Uncle Pangan refused to take her complaint. Investigators, including Police Major General Surachat Hakpan, have been probing the case 
list last week or so and he says that they found no evidence to support her claims and now they're attempting to gather her testimony and evidence of her to back up her claims coordinating the whole thing through the british embassy saying he expected the whole thing to take about a month in the statement to reporters police major general surachat explained that because some foreign tourists fabricate their stories in the past to claim insurance money they're treating the case in a fair manner and if her testimony is found to be false they would press false complaint charges against her and blacklist her from ever entering thailand indefinitely for more visit the phuketnews.com and that's it for phuket extra brought to you by psd windows and doors for safe secure and soundproof windows visit pvcphuket.com from all of us at the phuket news center thanks for watching and until tomorrow stay classy phuket Tong's favorite steakhouse for the past 20 years. For more, find Sam's Steaks and Grill on Facebook. When you think of steaks, think Sam's.